Hello, this is Cloud 521 and this isn't a PHP tutorial, but it goes over an introduction for MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and a little bit about each one. So, first of all, MySQL is a relational database management system, and that pretty much means that um, objects are related to other things, like the rows of the table are related to the table itself. Um, pretty simple like that. Um, and it's an open source thing. There is no special licensing that you have to get and you don't have to pay to use it unless you want to use the enterprise system which um, that's mainly for people that want to uh, see records and usage and statistics about their database. Um, and there's phpMyAdmin which is a PHP based administration center that is uh, able to modify MySQL databases and it runs through the, uh, the, sta the stack of uh, the operating system and Apache and then PHP and then MySQL um, and it runs through that. Um, it's open source as well and you can go and find it yourself and here I have a test database that I've made um, just a minute ago and here I have a table. It, ha it tells me how many records there are, uh, the type of database that I made, and also if uh, there's any overhead that means that there's some space that uh, could be cleaned out, um, which I don't have any problem there because I just it's cleaned. But uh, here I have this table. So if I go to the structure, I have an ID field a name field and a text field. There are different types where you can have an integer, a, uh, a varicar which pretty much means that it can have various characters and about 225 of them. And uh, this collation, or collation thing uh, you don't really have to worry about. Um, but this, uh, then there's the text type which you can have a um, large amount of text put in within and then this extra thing I have here, auto increment, means that every time I add a new row, it uh, automatically assigns a number. And the primary key is um, is the ID field. But uh, if I go to browse, I can see two things that I've uh, that I've made. One is that um, it has the name of banana, and the text is they have peels, apples they have fours. Now, uh, whenever you do something in phpMyAdmin, it's really nice and gives you the um, the SQL that it uses, so that you can use it in your own coding. Um, usually, you put SQL uh, or sequential querying, whatever language statements in um, in double quotes instead of single quotes because MySQL may use single quotes, but it never use double quotes. Now, um, and that's just kind of a standard. So, there's uh, you can see that there's uh, quite a few uh, options here for sorting and viewing things, and you can also uh, export, import, um, query, and do some operations like renaming the table, row format, and all sorts of stuff where you can analyze, repair, optimize, and check the table, etc. So that's uh, all there really is to this. Um, everything is pretty self-explanatory. Like create a new database on table, on uh, database test. That's this one right here that I have selected. And uh, you don't need to worry about privileges unless you're wanting to create a new user. Um, that's an overview for that. The description that uh, Wikipedia says that um, it can perform various tasks such as creating, modifying, or deleting databases, tables, fields, or rows, executing SQL statements, or managing users and permissions. Um, it's uh, in almost about every language. It's in 54 different languages. I would say that's quite a bit. Um, you're able to, if you went to Google and um, put in uh, phpMyAdmin. You can go find the main site and download it yourself. 
However, if you um, use WAMP like I do, um, then it should be included in your um, it should be included in your download. Like you can see right there on this um, screenshot of it, there's a list item here that says PHP my admin. Like I can choose from my list um, down in a different corner that you can't see. But uh, there are all sorts of things about it. You can also get uh, the download and install on your own server if you want to do it the hard way. Um, but about MySQL, it's on about every operating system and there's all sorts of things that it has that other database types may not have. And it's really nice because it's supported on almost every server that comes with PHP. That's about it there. Um, uh, the next tutorials I'll be making will be going over the usage of uh, PHP My Admin so that you can get used to it before um, using it in PHP. I plan to do these tutorials for a little while and then go back to PHP and then use uh, MySQL in PHP so that uh, so that we can do various tasks with the database that I've, been men that I've mentioned before. I also expect that on those tutorials about uh, that I use MySQL with PHP that you've already been exposed to how to use it and administer with it in PHP My Admin. So please watch these tutorials um, if you want to watch my future PHP tutorials. Signing off, Quapla321.